Hello and welcome to some tips. Today in this video I am going to show you how you can change your MAC address of your router and clone your MAC address. So do this change in for your own purpose not for any illegal work. So let's get started. Subscribe to some tips and hit the bell icon and get notification of new videos from some tips. So here you can see the MAC address or default MAC address, physical MAC address have been written in the back side of this TP link router. You can see there and to connect your pc to your router first you have to use any kind of lan or ethernet cable or wi-fi i am going to connect this using an ethernet cable so let's get into the desktop before starting this video i want to share that if you are cloning your mac address in your own purpose it is good but if you are doing this for any illegal type of work you will be in the risk and cyber crime will be against you cyber crime case will be launched against you if you are doing any kind of illegal work so to clone your mac address or change your mac address i have sold the physical mac address is your default mac address but if you are going to change it first of all you have to go to this 192.168.0.1 but default setting address of your tp link router and here it is the admin and password will be the login id and password will be the admin and admin so i am going to put the admin and admin and remember one thing this is the by default password you can change it and if you have changed this so please give that user id and password instead of admin and admin so after login into your setting page what you have to go you have to go the ERP list two MAC address is showing one is for your here I am connected the MAC address of computer is showing this is my computer and this is my mobile app now connected so two MAC address is showing and remember this two MAC address is not my own TP link Wi-Fi MAC address to check the TP link own MAC address to change the MAC address I have to go in the network under this network WAN line is there and there is a MAC clone so you can here know this is the default MAC address of the your factory or hardware MAC address so your PC's MAC address is going to be clone so here you can the uh, TP link Wi-Fi router MAC address and I have showed you previous two MAC address what is, one is for mobile one is my desktop instead of these two your MAC address should not be same to other devices in the same network so if your mobile is for MAC address 1 and if your desktop is MAC address 2 you cannot put 1 and 2 in the cloned MAC address of TP links you have to put either 3 or something else instead of 1 2 you can put anything and if as you are going to change it so this by default MAC address will also cannot be same so here you can see if I going to change this F to G my MAC address will be changed and here you can see if you press on the clone MAC address your MAC address will be changed and if you are going to restore your default MAC address press on the restore factory MAC so I am going to so here you can see that after you can click anything change G it will not work and keep pressing clone every time every time you will get a new MAC address so after one time it has been done press on the save button so after it has been saved you have to do again clone it and again new password will be there so again save it so you are going to get the default MAC address press on restore button and press on the save but I am now going to manually change it so after doing this manually pressing on save button here you can see it is showing the invalid MAC address so here you can see they are saying in the right side any hexadecimal digit so given if you have good knowledge of hexadecimal you already know that hexadecimal is going to go up to F so I am going to put F7 and pressing the save button so here you can see after saving pressing the save button it is loading here so my cloning is going to be successful so the MAC address has been saved successfully and 
I'm now going to again restore my default MAC address as I press restore default MAC address and I'm going to save. So my MAC address has been restored successfully. So do not change any type of problem if you are facing then only change. Suppose sometimes network is going to block you, your access or something is like that. I'm going to save you. In my area, the one of the internet service provider have the option there. I have changed my router in between that time and before that time my MAC address is up there on the Netgear Wi-Fi wi wireless router but when I change my Netgear to TP link the MAC address has been changed as is but I cannot access internet then I called to the customer care of that ISP and said that you have changed your device and MAC address have been changed then I have said yes I have changed because my making problem the previous router so they said Okay, let's give me give me your new MAC address. It will be renewed to your IP, and it will take up to two or three hours. Then I gave them the new MAC address. But what you will do? You will sit aside two or three hours without internet. No, just go to this clone MAC address and put your old Netgear MAC address. I have put it the old Netgear MAC address and pressing on save. And in the ISP are detecting that I have put it the old device again so internet is going to access again so after the ISP 2 or 3 hours later changed to a new MAC address my old in the old MAC address I cannot access internet then I again restore my factory MAC address in the TP link and again I am started using internet so this is the reason why the MAC clone is important and not for any kind of illegal work if you found this video helpful like this video share this video and comment with your query and don't forget to subscribe to get more videos like this in near future see you in next video very soon